I make Tesla coils. I make t-shirt cannons. We make bent circuits. I make rockets. We make robots. I make catapults. We make. I make. I make. We uh, take bikes that are wonderful, disposable society, throws away, we like to make them into all kinds of pedal powered monstrosities. Some people paint, some people do sculpture. We do bicycles. We've got air compressor bikes, we have tall bikes. One of the tall bikes is called Roberto the Bone Breaker. We have tandem tall bikes, we have swing bikes, we have rocket bikes. The Heavy Pedal Cycle Side Bike Rodeo is an organization of metal fabricators, musicians, artists, bike riders. The Cycle Side is, is a collaborative. You know, there's a lot of people involved. People just kind of jump in and build pedal-powered uh, instruments of fun, basically. We're not really into the practicality of the bike. We don't really care about like how fast you can ride. We're actually more interested in how well you can fall off the bike. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Park, and today we're talking VCRs. These things changed the way we watch television, gave us movie rentals and late fees. If you're like me, you probably don't use yours much anymore. But don't throw it out, whatever you do. These things are full of all kinds of motors, gears, sensors, and a sophisticated timer that you can use for your own projects. The original VCR cat feeder was designed by James Larson. He used an old VCR with the motor connected to a gear box this drove a meat grinder, and it conveyed the food into the kitty bowl below. Now, I've found these new VCRs are a little too smart for their own good. They're packed with sensors that will detect any speed change in this motor, and that'll stop things from running. So we're going to have to modify Larson's design. OK, it's time to check it out and see how it works. Power this up. And watch the kibble flow. Yes, it's working. I was uh, out in public, as many people are, and noticed that TVs are popping up everywhere you go. And since I'm a geek, I thought up an idea to turn them all off. And that's why I came up with TV Be Gone, which is a universal remote control that turns off any TV in a public place. But I thought it'd be fun to put it in a hat. Here's my make hat, and just sort of cover the circuit in some black uh, heat shrink tubing to make it more stealth. Here's the battery and the activator button. And so all you have to do is wear the hat and look at a TV, press the activator button, and it says the word off in every TV language and the one in front of you will turn off. And that's all I have to say about my homemade invention, TV Be Gone.